Hey guys, it's Tech Ryan here. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install the ATEM vertical plugin for OBS. That is right, it's a new plugin that just came out that makes life way easier for making vertical content for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and pretty much everything. And honestly, I think you're going to find this tool absolutely amazing. So I want to teach you guys on how to set up for yourself. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to need to do is install OBS. I will have a link to it down below. Now, if you already have it installed, which you most likely do if you're watching this video already, what you're going to need to do is update your OBS to the latest version. Because if you install in this version, it won't work. You need updated the 29 version. So you're going to go to help. You're going to go to the check updates. Within check updates, you're just going to upgrade the 29 version. And with that, we're on to the first step. Now that you have this finished and all installed, all you need to do is really just launch OBS. When you launch OBS, of course, we'll update the new version. And you're going to see it's going to go for all that stuff, but we just don't care for it. Now that this is done, let's actually go get the plugin. So you can see we have the plugin right here. What we're going to do is really just download it from the website here. And of course, it's going to take a few seconds to process. It's going to drop an EXC file, which is great. So what we're going to do is open this EXC file that it just downloaded and click open when done say yes and install and then we're just gonna let this run like so you don't have to do anything for special you just have to run it into the folder where it actually goes and it should automatically do it wherever your obs is installed and with that what should happen now if you close obs then reopen obs it should have the new file available and you should be able to access the atom plugin which you can see right here now that it's all updated and stuff we got it which is pretty cool so let's go over some basic things you need to know about this plugin first thing you got your sources and scenes they will have their own respective sources and scenes for the vertical format and of course this will be very useful if you actually want to set this on up so you can see this is my gameplay on my normal recording and this is my vertical recording so i'm going to add a vertical recording for you know desktop capture so i'm going to do here is go find my desktop capture and then i'm just going to add a new one or add an existing one which i can do you're going to see right here it'll pop up now i did notice a little weird bug if you try to actually just like grab this thing and try to move it around like re-enhance the size by grabbing the quarters you can't grab it like that what you need to do is drag it over here grab a corner pull it and with that you can actually move it around like however you want like so so for example here i'm just going to max it out then i can right click on this and transform it and then center it to screen or fit the screen we'll just say center screen for the time being and that way it looks good now that is not particularly the best but you get the general idea now just to show you how far you can go with this you of course can set up a webcam that way you have your gameplay below and your face cam up top so you can see right here on my right hand side i have my normal 1920 by 1080 setup but on my right hand side on my vertical setup which you can see of course i got the gameplay and stuff right here and you just add those sources into obs and then the same thing on the opposite side which is awesome now you want to actually link the sources together so that way when you're streaming you want your face cam with your face cam on both sides so you can do that and same thing with the face cam and gameplay so if you want to link your files together so that way you have face cam on your left side and right side all you have to do is click on your, one of your scenes from your vertical side so right here you can see mine I'm going to link that I linked by just chatting. Now, I don't, of course, have by just chatting on my left hand side right now because I'm recording my actual PC, but that's how that works if you want to do so. So that way you can have it on both sides and have it recording. Now, for actually messing with the settings, we're going to get into that next. So if you click on this gear over here, you have separate settings for recording vertical, which is absolutely amazing if you want to actually just do this. So you can set the bit rate, you can set the resolution, video, I mean, audio bit rate. I just set this to 6,000. You don't need to do any higher unless you like recording, and that's all you're going to do and then you got your backtrack replay time so you can just set this to whatever you want for me i set this generally to 180 seconds which is equivalent going back and grabbing the last three minutes of what i want to clip so that way i have it in a vertical format and then of course if you want to make this higher you can make it of course 300 seconds which is equivalent to five minutes and then if you want to make it even shorter than that you can make it 120 which is two minutes of footage you want to go back and clip so i've access that and then you can make a backtrack path which you make your own folder for this so that way you have a replay buffer both folder you can also have a vertical folder normal recording folder you have a lot of access to organizing stuff with this which is absolutely amazing which is so nice if you like that and then of course make a hotkey so for example here i have a hotkey set if i was to click it when i actually clip like right now i'm going to clip it i'm going to clip it for my normal you know vertical work format and i can clip it for the replay buffer so that way it access to both so now i can actually show you guys that I go to vertical recording so you can see right here i have access to it and if i want to go to a normal just a replay buffer i can look back and you can also see now i have a actual normal buffer so you can see i have the replay buffer and also vertical buffer as their two home things so i can clip out either one of them i want to i just have two different hotkeys for two different things which is pretty awesome in all fairness and of course you can set some other stuff for your stream key so that way if you want to stream onto twitch with the left hand side for your normal settings in obs and then on the right hand side for your vertical format you can set up a separate thing so you can stream that way to 
TikTok. So it's literally a multi stream in one OBS without having to use like restream and stuff like that, which is absolutely amazing. So if you have a TikTok stream key, definitely use this. It's such a miss. If you're not streaming on Twitch and TikTok, you should use this as a tool that actually maximizes your growth, which is me huge. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a TikTok stream key, so I can't show you guys how it looks like when you're live, but you get the general idea and if we're recording you can set some other things like when stop and go and also a recording file so we can place in your vertical file or maybe a separate recording file all together you can do that so that's pretty awesome i love it though how like detailed this is like we're content creators this is absolutely amazing if you want to have a solution instead of having to go to some website and make a whole like a vertical video you can literally just make it in the house all by yourself or if you really just want to get back to the og style you can go just record do some edits and edit it down so yeah if you're feeling lazy though you just want to have a simple you know clip and post on tiktok and youtube shorts then you have access to this tool which is absolutely amazing if you guys did find this video helpful then you know what to do make sure to smash the like button get subscribed to so you don't miss out future tech content but until then let's see you guys in a video tech grant out